Hey everybody, I'm back to do another manga probe video. In today's video I will be doing a genre discussion and for that genre I decided to go with contemporary romance. So as you all know, I'm not the biggest reader of contemporary romance when it comes to novels. I don't know why when it comes to manga I'm more prone to read romances. Um, probably because the majority of them are romances. Like I feel when I go shopping for manga more than half of them is some kind of comedy romance. And I actually don't read a lot of newer ones. A lot of these are older ones that I used to read back in high school and middle school. So I guess I don't really read them now, but I'm ranting. So anyways, I have five different manga series here that I will be discussing. Uh, two of them are newer series that I've been reading recently, and three of them are really old series, but they're some of my favorites, and I feel like you all should know. So, so without further ado, let's get into discussing the manga. The first one I have here is Hot Gimmick by Miki Aihara. This was first published back in 2003, and it is a completed series. There are 12 volumes to the series. Um, I don't know if you can see, but they're all right here. And I think actually now this series is also in bind-ups. And I'm not sure how many bind-ups there are because I had already collected the entire series by the time they started coming out with those. So, I don't know. Sorry. This story is about a young teenager named Hatsumi who is asked by her older sister to go buy a pregnancy test for her. And while at the convenience store paying for this pregnancy test, she is caught by a fellow student from her high school, Ryo Oki, who also happens to be the son of the owner of the apartment complex that she lives in, which makes it a little bit more awkward. And Ryo Oki is known for being a bully, and he basically blackmails her into being his girlfriend. So the majority of the story is about the romance, but it's also kind of about her growth from being somebody who's shy and is always taking people's crap. She kind of annoys me at the beginning because she doesn't stand up for herself. This situation would never have happened if her sister actually didn't bully her into going to the convenience store for her in the first place. But Hatsumi is a very shy, giving person and she will just basically do anything for anybody um, just because she feels she has to if she's asked, which is weird. But Anyways, she gets into this relationship, she has a crush on another guy, and there's a whole love triangle thing between them three at first, and it's a really good story, although it's really dramatic. So so if you like drama, and I started to try to reread this recently, and I actually don't like it as much anymore, but it definitely used to be one of my favorites. But I just think that my taste in what type of romance I like has changed, so that's why I wouldn't say I would reread this anytime soon for me. But if you like a lot of drama and stuff like that, this is a really good series. Series number four is Boys Over Flowers or Hani Yori Dango by Yoko Kamiyo. This was published back in 1992, I believe, so the art style is pretty old. I actually am not too fond of the art in this, but I absolutely love, love the story, so I can definitely get over it. It's a really long series, and I actually don't own the entire thing, and I plan on getting the rest of it. I only own the first seven, and I want to say there's like... 20, 20 something, 30 something. I don't know, there's a lot, but it's really, really good. And the series is so good, they've made an anime adaptation, they've made a live action adaptation, both in Japan and in, I wanna say there's one in Chinese, Taiwanese. I think there's a Taiwanese live action adaptation of this as well. And it's just a really awesome series. This is about a girl named Tsukushi who gets accepted into a prestigious high school. In this prestigious high school, there's mostly just a lot of rich, snobby students. Uh, Tsukushi is basically the only student in there who is not rich, who got in there from book smarts and not because of money. And everybody dislikes her because she's poor. She basically um, makes up her mind that she's just going to go through school without out trying to make friends, she's just gonna stick to the books and get out of there as soon as possible because no one's gonna be nice to her anyways. At the same time, there's a group called the F4. The F4 is a famous group of four teenage guys. Basically, they're the most popular boys in the school and they rule. They rule everything, they make decisions about other students. If they don't want that student in the school, they can kick them out. So she tries to go about her normal school life, but ends up 
uh, running into the F4 and getting into trouble with them. Unbeknownst to her, though, she falls in love with one of them because they keep meeting in a stairwell that she likes to kind of get away from everybody and hang out at, and he happens to do the same thing, and she ends up having a crush on him, but gets in trouble with the leader of the F4, who bullies her, but at the same time, he starts to realize that he actually likes her, and it turns into this weird love triangle thing between the guy that she actually likes and the guy that likes her. But, but he has a really immature way of showing it. He bullies her all the time. He's very mean to her, but then he like pampers her at the same time. So it's really weird. It's super cute. It's pretty funny sometimes, but it does have its serious moments. And I really, really enjoy this series. Uh, I finished the live action series, so I know how it ends in that way, but I never actually finished reading this. So I do need to get into that really, really soon. But yes. If you're like me and you don't really like this manga style, um, it's something you can definitely ignore because it's really, really good. You can definitely tell this was from the 90s. They all wear like really, really 90s clothing, but it's really good. And I highly, highly recommend this series. The third manga series I want to talk about might come as no surprise to anybody, and that is Oran High School Host Club. This is by Bisco Hattori, and it was first published back in 2002, I want to say. I'm not too sure how many volumes there are, but the entire series is out, and I used to own it. I want to say it's like almost 20, like 18 or 19, or maybe it is 20. I'm not sure. I used to own the whole series, and now I can't find most of the series. I only found the first four volumes. I'm pretty angry about that, so I might have to repurchase this. This is like really bent and old, and I think it got wet somehow. This is another story kind of like Haniori Dango, where a poor girl ends up in a rich school, but this one's more on the comedic side than on the drama side. She ends up knocking down this very, very expensive vase in a prestigious school club. Basically, it's a host club. Basically, in this one, females come in and they're catered by a bunch of really cute men. It's not anything like a strip club or anything like that. They, they don't do anything sexual at all. It's just a place where you can go and hang out with cute boys and they'll flirt with you and do nice things for you and, and make you feel good in that way and not in like a physical way. <laughs> so in this high school, this group of popular boys has a host club. Haruhi ends up in this club somehow and knocks down this vase. But instead of getting angry about it, the leader of the group really, really likes her and he kind of forces her to work for them in this host club by pretending to be a guy. So this is actually Haruhi in the front. She already kind of looks kind of male-ish because she has short hair and she dresses kind of frumpy so you can't really tell. In fact, in the beginning, almost everybody thinks she's a guy and the last person to realize is the leader of the group because he's not the smartest guy. It's really, really funny and hilarious, and it's the majority of the story is friendship, actually, as opposed to romance, but there is a romance in it. At the same time, it's very catered towards fangirl. If you like certain types of uh, relationships, this definitely has a mixture of different kinds, and yes, so it's really, really good. I hope I explained that really well, but... Probably not. There is an anime adaptation. The manga is way better though because it actually has a conclusion to the relationship as opposed to the anime which doesn't really have the conclusion. It kind of hints to it but not really. So definitely check out the manga if that's something that interests you. Again I explained that really really bad. I'm sorry. This next series is a newer series and that is Torodora, by, story by Yuko Takemiya and art by Zekyo. Um, this was published back in 2011, so it's a newerish series, only a few years old. There is an anime adaptation for this as well. I already read this back in 2011. I read it online. I've already seen the anime adaptation for it as well, and it's awesome. Um, but I only recently started collecting the manga for it because I decided it was good enough that I wanted to have it in my collection. So um, I have the first four volumes. I think there's six volumes. I don't know if that's total though or if that's all that's out right now. Yes, this is basically a romance comedy. 
it is about these two characters right here. We have Yuji and Taiga. So basically these two characters have a crush on each other's best friends. At first they seem like enemies, but they decide to work together to kind of help each other get in these relationships that they want to be in. And over time they slowly develop feelings for each other and it's just so cute. That's basically the gist of the story. Um, they're both really shy, they can't express their feelings really well, and it's just so hilarious. And out of all of these, this is one of my current favorites. Uh, I could read this over and over and over again. I've probably rewatched the anime like seven times. Yeah, I love it. My guilty pleasures because it's, it's, it's just a comedy romance, really and their little shenanigans in high school and also deals with friendship and it's just it's so cute uh, I love it if 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 that sounds interesting to you please please check it out it's cute I love it and the last one I want to talk about and the most recent one I've been reading is Nisekoi by Naoshikomi. This first came out back in 2011. It is an ongoing series, so not all of them's out. Right now, I think only the first three volumes are published out in English, and I just purchased the third one like a week or two ago. I haven't even read it yet, but I'm so excited to get to it. This is another comedy romance type of story about this boy named Raku who is the son of a gang leader. Because of this, he finds it hard to get into relationships with people, whether it be romantic relationships or friendship, because all he wants to do is be a normal high school student, and yet he's kind of stuck in a Yakuza gang because of his family. The story is really about the fact that 10 years ago when he was a little kid, he met another girl and they made this childhood promise to, when they get older, meet up again and get married. Um, they gave each other necklaces. His necklace has a pendant on it while her necklace has a key on it to open that pendant. So he grows up kind of being in love with the idea of meeting her again, her using her key to unlock this locket he has, and they'll live happily ever after and so on and so forth. So now in high school he still hasn't met up with this girl again. He currently has a crush on this girl here. I can't remember her name. One day a new student appears, and that is this girl. Her name is Chitoge, and she is really like outspoken. She's mean. He does not like her initially. Meanwhile, at home, there's a rival gang that his family's been dealing with for a little while, and finally he comes home one day to find his father talking to the leader of this rival gang, and they're discussing how they can kind of stop this feuding that's going on between the two families. And in doing so, the fathers come up with the idea that their two children should be in a relationship together. That way it will kind of stop the fighting. So he meets with the daughter of the rival gang, who happens to be Chitoge. So he already doesn't like her because she's kind of mean to him when they first meet. And so they kind of reluctantly get into this relationship with each other. And they have to play this relationship at all times, even at school when they're not around their families, because she has a bodyguard that follows her and kind of is keeping an eye on her at all times. And it's really funny. Actually, he's a pretty hilarious character. And so it's a love triangle between these three characters and comedy ensues and it's hilarious and I highly recommend this. There is also an anime adaptation that is still ongoing as well. I think there's like 16 episodes out right now. Again, there's really no other way to describe it. It's just cute. So that was all for this video. There we have five different contemporary romance series. Most of the contemporary romance manga series are all comedies in some way or dramas. I prefer the comedy aspect side of it. The only one that's really more on the drama side is this one. So if you like comedy romance, then any one of the other series is really, really good. There are plenty, plenty more series than the ones I've talked about in this video, and I will be further discussing those later. Other than that, that is all. I was planning on doing a April wrap-up, but I didn't really read a whole lot in that, so I'm not going to be doing an April wrap-up or a May TBR because I'm not sure what I'm going to be reading either. So I will kind of just combine May and April into one video when we get to the end of May. There is a lot going on for me at work this month, so there may be very few videos you'll see from me this month. If you guys have any comments or questions, please leave them down below, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye!